Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be carving an owl in a nook. We're gonna kinda of keep this owl theme. Uh, that'll give us two owl videos and then we'll get into doing something a little different. But this is gonna be part of that mini carving series out of small logs. Logs we're using are roughly five, five and a half inches across. So they're not huge, still small pieces. We're gonna be using the chainsaw for most of it. We'll be using some saber tooth bits with power tools to clean them up. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe if you guys haven't already, and hit all so you guys don't miss future uploads. Stick around. Alright guys, like I said, we're going to do an owl in a nook, like this. Out of this log, I'll be using my MSA 200 battery saw. Now this has got a 43 gauge chain, it's the narrow chain. If you've got to be doing small carvings, it's a good idea to get a saw that runs small 43 gauge chain. We also may go ahead and grab the uh, dime tip bar too. So I'm going to do as much as I can with this because I know not everyone has a dime tip bar. And then if you do have a dime tip bar, you can use that to kind of clean it up. We'll also be using the cross cutter three quarter inch bit for the eyes and the owls. And we'll be using a quarter inch, quarter inch size coarse saber tooth burr bit as well. These are both saber tooth bits in our die grinder for uh, cleanup work. So I'm going to get the camera going on the saw. Let's start making some cuts. This is a pretty quick carve. It's fairly easy for the most part. So we'll have this thing done in no time. Now it's going to basically be plunge cutting, okay? So we'll be cutting in, but at a little bit of an angle. So we cut in at an angle, okay? See that? So like the saw is buried in there. We're going to kind of have to outline where we want the owl to be before we actually start carving the owl. So let's start. After I take the chain break off. <laughs> So now I'm gonna do some up cuts and kind of remove this material. Okay, we got that outline of that owl going already. Now what I wanna do is come in and cut down like this. So his chest will be here, head, chest, outer wing, and tail feathers will come this way, so. Okay, hopefully it's making sense here. I gotta get the bark off mine. The wood is frozen. I can't just peel it off, so I gotta use the saw to scrape it, kinda. If you guys can, peel your bark off before you even start carving. And I'm gonna shape at the same time. Okay. 
Okay. Now I want to think about making some cuts, angle cuts. Think about the center of the face, you okay? Go from that center in about a quarter, bring your saw here. Okay, so that's like the side of the head. Do the same on the other side. Okay, I gotta clean this up up here. I didn't realize how straight that is, but we'll get to that. Let's go ahead and make some cuts from the side. So we gotta kind of bring the saw up and in. All right, kind of up and in, so we kind of have this rounded motion in there. Hopefully that made sense. Okay, we need to shape this in. We need to round it in, round it up in. over the front to find the beak all right this one i actually goofed up the other one i did way better but it's kind of the same same concept Be ready for kickback, okay guys? You're using different parts of the nose of that bar and you can get kickback. So just, just be ready for that, be prepared. I want a rounded head, time to define that. Cuts to just under the head. Hopefully you don't hit the face like I just did. Okay, so now we need to make like the wing coming across. We need to make some definition there. swooping line. Nose of the bar, cut this all back. Round these edges. 
make some cuts with the upper nose of the bar swooping in and then longer cuts down here for that tail. <laughs> So I'm going to leave that guy like it is, grab the power tools, and uh, clean him up from there. Guys, okay, so I'm going to be using a couple burrs from Sabretooth. First thing we're using is the cross cutter, eye cutter, three quarter inch. I'm going to cut this in and do the eyes. Okay. The next bit, I'm gonna actually just use the three quarter inch coarse bit from uh, Flame Bit from Sabretooth. And we're gonna just kinda clean it up around the eyes and do some marks so it looks like the fur around the face. have it just a quick aisle Oop, that one eye is a little goofy <laughs> all right after a couple touch-ups our owl is pretty much done you just hit him with the torch or some paint whatever the heck you want to do for a coloring get that out of there The wood I'm using is really green, it's frozen, so burning it is a bit difficult. These pieces will go in the shop with some heat for a few days and warm up before I really uh, finish them to completion. So He's got a little bit smaller head than the other owl, but that's alright. It's a different piece. He's unique. It's just giving you guys the idea how to make those cuts, and uh, hopefully it'll help you out doing owls like this right so this one's a little bit more defined i did use the dime tip bar on this one we did not use the dime tip bar on this one so what's the difference we can get in here more with that dime tip bar cut in deeper and really clean him up and shape that head more up in this way okay so if you don't have a dime tip bar you can grab that and clean it up a little more add a little more detail so it kind of looks like this finished piece Guys, well that's it for this video, carving an owl in a nook, still in that mini carving series. Quick, fun, easy carves, something you can you know, perfect after a few, they're really not that hard. You can also mess them up to kind of, <laughs> what are you going to do? Anyway, practice guys, make some cool stuff, stay safe, make sure you're wearing your safety gear when you do all this. You know, you guys, you carve at your own risk when you uh, fire it up and you do those things, so take the proper safety precautions and and be safe chaps boots gloves ear protection eyes protection you know um dust protection is always good as well so just keep all that stuff in mind you know the only reason i haven't had a mask on is because i'm trying to talk to you guys while i carve now that's only you know one or two carvings in a video which is not bad when i get out here and i'm carving for the day i'm wearing my mask all day long keep the dust out of my lungs out of my nose out of my mouth so just keep that in mind if you guys are enjoying this series be sure to give this video a thumbs up be sure to hit subscribe hit all so you guys don't miss any future videos you guys can also check out the description below for links to amazon the tools i'm using or something similar you guys can check me out on social media all those links are down below as well you guys can even check out the membership page that i've created now the membership page doesn't offer a whole lot right now other than the opportunity for you to help support the channel and the work that I'm doing here to help you out. And every little bit that you guys, uh, you're able to do, if you're able to become a member, I really, really do appreciate. And if you're not able to become a member, 
that's all right because you're still getting some good content like this and it's always helpful right so hope you guys have an awesome day hope you enjoyed the